Hey, what's up guys? Justin with Tier 1 Tactical. Today I want to take a look at the Asher Knife Sentry. This blade has gotten more pocket time with me than any other knife here recently. As you can see, it has a nice satin S35 VN blade. Loving the harpoon shape. The fuller as well. Between the fuller and the harpoon, it just absolutely makes this blade. Black G10 handles. As you can see, it has a ambidextrous axis style locking mechanism running on phosphor bronze washers all stainless steel fasteners stainless steel liners backspacers stainless steel clip which there's actually two variations of the clip that can come with the blade you can upgrade to the longer deep carry clip or it actually comes with a shorter one if depends on what you prefer i guess this here is the nomad which i actually did a blade swap whenever these came in I had this one first, and then when this one arrived uh, a week or so later, I just went ahead and swapped the blade out on it. I just thought the black looked better with the harpoon, which honestly, I'm really digging this one now in blue. The Nomad with blue, I gotta say, it's a little dirty because I've been carrying it so much, but it's a really, really great blade. I gotta say, overall, it's been a great knife, both of them. I just, I have no complaints. No blade play. As sharp as a razor. As you can see, compared to the bug out, it's right around the same size. I mean, pretty much identical. Of course, the, the Century and the Nomad are built a little bit stronger. You know, all the stainless steel liners and backspacers, it's going to make for a little bit stronger knife. Of course the bug out is meant to be a lightweight you know throw in your back pocket kind of thing but this is definitely a, a I guess you could say it's a more of a hard use bug out let's see compared to might as well throw this guy in there Hogue just don't get enough love from my channel not as much as it deserves anyway I love the Hogue Decca this one I actually have the Warren Cliff with the blue. Great carry. I, I love carrying them both. And I know I had this hat back here somewhere. The Elementum, which we'll compare it to the Nomad here. As you can see, it's about a half inch, a little less longer than the Elementum, which is also a great EDC option. Again, you can't go wrong with the Asher Century, the Asher Nomad either both great knives now it is actually available in black so you don't have to order both and do a swap like i did you can get it now in black and you can get it set up for right left hand carry if you're uncomfortable with changing out the hardware yourself which honestly you can't beat i think what this thing is like 75 bucks i think well worth it honestly i'd have paid double <laughs> but we're not going to go that far. I still want to buy more later. <laughs> nah, just kidding. I actually will be ordering the Silva here soon. I don't know why I haven't been able to order it yet. Just a bunch of things have come up and I've had other obligations, other other buying obligations, I guess you could say, with other makers. But uh, yeah, stay tuned. I will be reviewing the Silva here soon. As soon as I get it in, I'll do a first impressions unboxing, which... I guess is becoming a thing on my channel now so stay tuned for that if you haven't already check me out on instagram like subscribe share whatever you can do to help the channel be much appreciated stay safe out there see you guys on the next one